Hello everybody, we are here on day 8 and it's already um, March 23rd, time flies, it's Monday and for some people it's kind of like almost a regular day, just everything online. What we're going to do today is a little bit of a different dish, we're going to do a vegetarian dish and you see there's a lot of veggies already. So you can literally take whatever you like. So this is just a variation and I like to play with colors too. So obviously these two, yellow, red, uh -huh, that are a nice contrast. Then some zucchini, uh -huh, one or two, depends on how much you want to make. Some carrots and an onion. Uh -huh. And again, you can do it with kale, you can do it with uh, potatoes. Um, eggplant, it's really up to your taste. So that is for um, the veggies in the lasagna. Lasagna, um, again, like I like this brand, it's really nice and there's some um, lasagna in here that you can then place between uh, the veggies. You do need some cheese, huh? some that you can um, grind yourself or it's already ready. Then you need a sauce, um, which I prefer like something like that. It can be ready-made. Um, you can also make it by hand, just takes a little longer. Just something with tomatoes, it's kind of nice. And then you need to make one sauce definitely um, yourself, which is called the white sauce bechamel. And for that one you need milk, you need some white flour, um, butter, and salt and pepper and I think that's it I hope I didn't forget anything um, so let's get started you want to focus first on the veggies um, peel them cut them nicely and heat them up in water and as the vegetable is nicely getting softer you probably want to spice it a little bit huh so just put a little bit of salt and pepper for now because we're going to put some extra spices also in the sauce. So don't overdo. A little bit of pepper. Okay, and I think they're pretty much done. So we're going to let them sit for a little bit and then move on to the next thing, which is the sauce bechamel. And for that one, you need a pan, huh? You gotta put in some butter. To melt. This butter is definitely melted. Huh? You add a little bit of white flour. Always stir it and then at the same time you take your milk and you're gonna add that as well slowly huh you should probably take one of these here huh to avoid that it gets clumsy Just on low heat, huh? you just stir it all the time. Huh? Add a little bit of salt. Huh? It seems like a lot, but there's going to be more milk, so that's why it's actually eventually just the right touch. A little bit of pepper. And let's see. Quite low heat now and keep adding that milk huh? so the whole reason um, why we're making this sauce and you have to kind of add a little bit wait a little bit you want that it gets thicker huh bechamel sauce is kind of like a creamy thick flour buttery sauce huh? which is really nice to have in lasagna 
Um, you can heat up the oven in the meantime. So let's do that. And I will probably put it to like 400, huh? 400 Fahrenheit. Okay. And with the veggies, all you want to do is get rid of the water because otherwise everything gets very soaky and you want to avoid that. So just pour the water out. Alright, and with the tomato sauce, I already had one that I used for something else the other day, so it's only about full to here. Um, if you don't have that, just take a little bit out from the top so you have some room in here. So this is a little trick. It gives you space for the spices, so you can just put them in here, whatever you like. Alright, some pepper. Okay, some garlic. Ooh, yeah. And I like to have a little bit of port wine in the dressing. There we go. And you close it and you just shake it. As for the cheese, take whatever you like. I have here a nice Italian cheese. And you just put that in here so you can eventually spread that in between the veggies and the lasagna pasta. So for lasagna you need something like this huh with cover and kind of like a deep um, bottom huh? so that you can actually put stuff in there. Okay so we're going to start out with a little bit of bechamel sauce. Huh? So you see how this got now quite thick, huh? that's about right. So put just a little bit, not too much. This is just so that the uh, pasta leaves can actually soak it up and get nice and soft. So here we are. That's how they look. huh? Put about three. If they don't fit exactly, just put them a little under. What I sometimes do, I just break them. I know that's probably sacrilege. Woo! All right, put one on the side, one here, so that's really nicely covered. Huh? So that's layer one. Then, obviously, the vegetable. Just put. You know, think about like there's probably two more coming, huh? Let's see how many we can fit. Actually, this is going to be probably two layers as I can see right now. Okay. Okay. So then we have this nice little sauce here, huh? Just put that a little bit. Think about the two layers. According to the veggies, that kind of looks like that's probably what it's going to be. Then I actually will put some cheese here. Huh? Some people just put it at the very end. But I think it's kind of nice a little bit in between. Why not? Okay. Sauce bechamel. And the second layer of pasta. We put them this way, so now you choose the other direction. Huh? So now what you want to do, very important, cover it. It's okay, it'll touch the ends. And before you place it in the oven, make sure you have a tray with a parchment paper. Otherwise everything is going to be on the tray itself. There you go. Your lasagna is ready to go in the oven. Let it be in there for about 40-45 minutes and check and see if the pasta and the lasagna leaves are soft enough. Alright, here's the lasagna. Uh, make sure you have something that protects you from the heat because it's going to be very hot. Voila! Ooh. 
the enneber. Here it comes, vegetable lasagna with a little bit of salad on the side. Dinner with my neighbor. A little bit of Swiss chocolate. And here we go. And if you've liked what you've seen, please feel free to share it on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. It's called hashtag dinner with my neighbor. And I love to cook, but that's not really my first profession. I'm a freelance musician and due to the COVID-19, unfortunately, I lost all my income. All my concerts, my sessions and tours got canceled. So if you have a spare dollar, and I'm not asking you musicians who are just incredibly generous to give, even if you don't have it. So I'm asking everybody else that still can give. And I know there's a lot out there that are struggling. So, but definitely not the musicians. Please don't support me, okay? So go on my website and you see on the GM Club, there's actually already on the first, first page, gabriellamartina.com, artist relief support. And that will guide you to where you can give something. So I thank you so much. I hope that this video gave you some ideas of what to cook for the next days. I'm happy to cook with you virtually, real time, and I'm happy to share ideas with you and actually have dinner. This is a social event. It should be fun, should be healthy, but also trying to get us through this difficult time. Okay, thank you so much and take care.